Mr. Ocentales is a fisherman from the central coast of Ecuador. He's been a fisherman for more than 20 years. He came on sort of hard times and made a fairly rash decision to take a drug smuggling job, moving cocaine off of the northern coast of, of Ecuador to Central America. On that trip, this thousand-mile trip, he was uh, spotted by a U.S. Navy airplane that flew off of a, a, a Central American base. Uh, interdicted, picked up by the Coast Guard, and then brought aboard a Coast Guard cutter. And he and the six other men he was smuggling drugs with were held for 70 days aboard a series of Coast Guard and Navy ships until eventually they were transferred to the U.S. and prosecuted criminally. While they were aboard these ships, they were shackled at all times, except for a moment to be brought to the toilet, which was actually a, often a bucket on the deck of the ship. Um, they described this sort of terror, terror of not knowing where they would be taken. They weren't allowed to call their families. They weren't provided attorneys while they were on board these ships. They weren't put in contact with their consulates. They were essentially just held. The, their families thought they were dead? So, in, in many of these cases, these families, their relatives really believed them to be dead. Um, in one case, a Guatemalan man I spoke with, his family actually held a funeral for him, expecting that he had died. Fishermen disappear at sea. That's a thing that happens. They assumed that they would be receiving a waterlogged body back in their town. Instead, they got a call more than 70 days later from, in the case of Johnny Arcentales, from a Florida jail saying that he had been brought to the United States.